Hi, I would like to tell about the Quarter Project. And the Quarter Project, it's about plants in Spain. So here we see a field site in Spain. And in Spain, in this area, it's very dry. And when it's very dry, plants have a hard time to establish there. But in, there are some plants, this bush for example, that can establish in these dry environments anyways. And when it does so, it helps other species like this grass to establish there as well. Because the bush provides shadow and has a root system that, that maintains moist in the ground. So the bush helps the grass to grow. And in this presentation, in this project, we call the bush a nurse plant or a facilitator. Because it facilitates or nurses the other species, we call them the, the facilitated species. Or when the facilitated species, when the grass is on its own, we call it unfacilitated. And in this project, we do not care about the nurse plant that much. Um, we care about how the nursed, how the facilitated species adapts to this system. Uh, so what, the, what effect it has on the selection of, of its traits. So let's take a look at how the simulation looks like. There will be some uh, parameters on the left, field site here, traits on the selection in time. Here is a histogram, uh, so when there are more values it will be whiter. And there's also a neutral marker, so that's a trait not under selection. I call it a neutral marker instead of a trait to remove confusion, but this is just a trait, except it's not selected for. So um, let's take a look at um, at the grid is the most uh, interesting one, uh, because this shows the spatial situation in which green is a nurse plant, so there are plenty of them, uh, and they are always constant in a, in a run. Like uh, yeah, we can mix them, but that completely makes no sense. Um, and then we have seeds of the facilitated plant, the, the grass. And these seeds, they can land randomly adjacent to a nurse or this poor seed uh, not next to uh, a nurse plant. So this is an unfacilitated seed, whereas the blues are the facilitated ones. And you can imagine that, would you be able to specialize that, that you can adapt to either a scenario or both and that's what the trait uh, allows you to do. So the most important thing is this fitness uh, parameter. Actually there you see two lines, one is for being facilitated, one is being for unfacilitated. This is the trait and this is your fitness you'll get if you have that trait. And there are two lines because again some are facilitated, some are not. So to sh I think the best way to show these how these lines work is I'll kill all nurse plants and then we'll see the trait evolve to being unfacilitated. So I'll be killing all nurse plants now, so we can do that in biology. No nurse plants are zero. You see all the pixels become red, so no seed will germinate next to a nurse plant, it will be unfacilitated. And if we take a look at this graph, it means that if you're unfacilitated, the optimal trait you have is at 0 0.1. 0 0.1 is the trait value. You'll have a fitness of 1, which is this value. Uh, and uh, so we predict all, all plants to go to that value. And that's exactly what happened here. So the trait on the selection started at around here, but in time it moved to the fitness optimum at around 0.1. And I can easily prove that if I put the fitness optimum to 0.5, it will stay in the middle. And if I move it to even more, it will go to the right. Also, you can see that there's a neutral marker here. So this is a trait not on the selection. And whatever I do, it will do something random. Uh, and it shows you uh, what happens if there is no selection. So you can see the contrast between this trait clearly selected for against a uh, high variance in the neutral marker. All right, so I'm going to put the optimal trait value for unfacilitated at 0.2 and for being facilitated at 0.8. So if the if if there are no nurse plants 
and you run it. Most of them will be unfacilitated, since some of them is here. So if there are few nurse plants, we go here, go to the left, we go to the trait that's optimum for being unfacilitated. But will there be more nurse plants? Um, the trait will go to, to, to the optimum for being facilitated. And let's prove that now by making more nurse plants. So now I add nurse plants and bam. Now we see that because there are more seeds facilitated, they, there are more seeds that sprout next to a nurse species, uh, to a nurse plant, the trait will specialize under that scenario. So here we can see the fitness optimum of being facilitated is 0.8, and uh, that's where it goes to. I can prove that by moving it to the right. You'll see it goes to the right. I can prove by going to the left, you'll see it goes to the left. Um, yep. So that's exactly what we expected to do. Uh, well, you can also show more things like a, a fitness value, for example, um, but I think that makes it too long. So I think I just described the quarter project uh, without the fitness value because it takes too long. And I wish you a very good day. Bye. <laughs>